Hey people, today I want to talk to you guys about the language of love. That's right, love. Love. <laughs> that there came from the soul, the heart. Hmm. You hearing me people? So, as I was saying, everyone has a different way of expressing what love is, what love means to them. And in a relationship, it's so crucial that we understand each other's love language. Because if we don't, we could end up feeling unloved, unwanted, and rejected. Now, we wouldn't want that now, would we? Mm -hmm. So, from my own experience, and from what I've learned along the way, I want to share some of my insights so you guys can get a deeper understanding of what love is. As time goes along, I'm also trying to find out what love is, what it means to be loved. Loved. Sorry about the shake people, that was my little boy there. Let me just adjust the camera so you guys can get a better view. So, as I was saying, everyone has a different way of expressing love and it's up to us to understand a, a person or our partner's love language. I'll give you an instance, I'll give you a scenario and a situation. Person A may be expressing love by giving gifts. Person B may be expressing love by affection. Now, these two people are sending off two different forms of love. And it's up to these two people to acknowledge, hang on a second, this is how this person expresses love. But, if this person expresses love that way, it doesn't mean to say that you will feel loved. They may be giving love, but it might not be the love that you really need to feel to be loved. Does that make sense? So say for example, this person is buying you gifts, gifts are nice. And this person is pouring out their heart and soul through the gifts. But the person who is receiving the gifts might not want this. It's really nice, but they might not need this, sorry. They might need that bit of affection. They might need just comforting words or a hug or a kiss or a cuddle, as it were. This is what I'm trying to say. It's about understanding your other partners, your partners, Love language. How do they want to receive love? And how do you give love? Are two different things, two different perspectives to take on board to be mindful of. This is what I'm talking about. And this is how a person could feel unloved. You might feel in yourself, in your heart and soul, that you're giving out everything. And the person is taking you for a mug. They're taking you for a ride. And all you do is give, give, give and give out love. But it might not be the love that they're after. They might want love the way that they express it towards you. This is what I'm talking about. Understanding a person's love language. I'm going to leave you on that. Something to think about. Something to be mindful of. Something to be aware of. And if I don't make sense in what I've just said, then by all means, do nothing at all. Or you could go out there and educate yourself. Find out your partner's love language. I'm going to leave you on that note. Until then. Take care, stay strong, stay focused. And before I finish the rest of my lines, my son wants to say something. Son, do you want to say something to the viewers? Hey? Say, bye. Say, bye. He's saying, bye. Bye. Did you hear that? Bye. So, until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now. P.S. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for giving me the time to just express myself. Bye.